All right. Hello. Hello, air signs. So this reading is going to be a free view reading for the collective of the air signs. Um, so prior to this video, I did get three pre-channeled messages for you guys. All right. But before I get into that, um, I would just like to let you guys know that I did start my own website. So if you guys are interested in personal readings, um, please do go to preview.com and you will be able to look and see what services that I am offering at this time um, and to set up a booking with me. All right. And also um, any of the other links on there if you guys would like to follow me on social media. Um, and I do have a description of what cards that I used as well. All right. So let's get started. The first pre-channeled message I got for you guys is love is on the horizon. The second, don't be afraid to speak your truth. The third, it's never too late to start again. Um, right off the bat, I'm hearing like maybe for some of you it's like time for a new beginning um, at this time. I'm going to go ahead and get started with my very first deck here. I will be working with three different decks for you guys. Um, as soon as I split the deck, I have the Milky Way perspective and the full moon completion. So maybe before the last full moon, you guys were able to really um, complete certain things or change your perspective on certain things as well. I'm also seeing the solitude card. Um, so definitely taking that time to yourself to go within, to reflect. Um, and I'm hearing to meditate as well. And I'm also seeing the strength card next to solitude. So definitely you have the inner strength to do so. So don't be afraid. And whatever it is that you need to speak up on, um, speaking your truth, and just being yourself, don't be afraid to be yourself. All right? Thank you, God, for those pre messages. Please help me to get four beautiful cards. The Collective of the Air Signs. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> so, I got six cards for you guys. Well, the very first one is the Ceremony, Invocation, Clouds, Shape-Shifting. Crystals, Focus, Spring Equinox, Rebirth, and then I have two other cards. I have the Waterfall, Effortless. You probably can't see them right there. Stick them up the way down. And Gaia, Nurturing. So nurturing yourself, um, your community, and the planet as well for some of you. We're going a little further um but it will be effortless to do certain work certain inner work with yourself um for those of you who are trying to work on yourself right now um with the ceremony invocation card i'm hearing um like a get together so this could be a party um function at work um for some of you and also, like, some of you as well, it can be, like, anniversaries, birthdays, different things um, coming up. And then with the clouds shape-shifting, um, when I first pulled the card, I feel as though I'm getting, like, the energy as, like, some people are not truly being themselves. They're, like, shape-shifting themselves to kind of, to fit in, I heard, for some of you, to fit in, like, riding trends as well. Um... But you should just be yourself. And then with this focus card, um, you need to focus on nurturing yourself. You need to focus on being yourself. You need to focus on changing into who you are. Maybe also with the shape shifting, maybe for some of you, it's not about trying to be like other people, but being more like yourself and really changing and focusing on your rebirth and how you can change to be who you truly want to be. And that's just for some of you. So I'm going to go ahead and look ahead to my next deck of cards. So as split as I split it, I have the strategy card and the action card. So some of you guys are definitely working on a strategy to move forward or to take action towards certain things that you are focusing on. And this could be other things aside from yourself. This could be your dreams and goals. Some of you I'm seeing... The happy family card with the action card so maybe some of you want to start working on a happy family or relationship i'm hearing for some of you as well that you're working on 
But definitely, um, I'm seeing the envy cards. Maybe some people are going to be envious of your happiness or your family being happy, but that's okay. Um, I'm hearing those are fake people. So you kind of, they will go away. Um, with the thinking man here, this could be a man or a woman, depending on your gender. Um, so some of you could be thinking about these things and that could be like certain things that you are focused on moving forward. But I feel like it's going to be very effortless to move forward and um, to get into this rebirth for some. All right. Because you've been doing the work. That's for those who have been doing the work um, within the last like few years, especially like last year. But if you're just starting to do the work, that's fine as well. It takes time. All right. Thank you, God, for these beautiful messages that have come through. Can you please give me a clarification for the ceremony, for the air signs, the ceremony? Okay. Beautiful. The sun. So coming into your happiness, your joy, and following your dreams can be making some of you very anxious at this time. I heard don't be. And under that is attachment. So maybe you guys have attached to like anxiety from the past. And under that is the victory card and journey. So once you move past, I'll pull these ones out. Once you move past the anxiety and the attachments that you have on the past or the negative past that has hold you back, you will find this victory moving forward towards your happiness on a new journey towards your rebirth as well. Thank you, God, for those beautiful messages that have come through. Can you please give me a clarification for the shape shifting? For the air signs. <clears throat> so I'm seeing like the contract card. And I, right away what I think about here is like maybe some of you guys are signing contracts. But that's like very obvious. So maybe some of you guys are thinking of marriage. I'm hearing license for some of you. Um, and I'm also hearing work for some as well. And under that, a few other cards almost popped out. Hostilities card. So again... People might be very envious of this um, and this could be people around you but overall you guys are working on caring connections or trying to build better connections in your life so kind of not worrying about those hostilities or envious people but thinking more so about those that you care for and those that you love and then I see the door to spirit so opening yourself up a little bit more to spirit and to those type of things as you see here I don't know if you guys can see it or not, um, but this woman, she's at her table, you know, she has her candles lit, she has her crystals and things like that, but there is a snake there. So again, there could be people around you that could be fake or envious or whatever, or jealous or hostile, um, but don't worry, because overall you will have the victory and find your happiness. All right. And again, envy is under that. So I feel like you're moving away from that type of energy and with the sixth chakra um this talks about well this is a sacral chakra i believe and that talks about like relationships um addictions and um things like that actually let me double check that for you let me use my chakra bible okay and that is for the sixth chakra yeah your sacral chakra so yeah relationships violence and addictions so i feel like you're moving away from that type of energy like for sure like yeah definitely moving away from that is what i'm getting um can i please have one more clarification oh. no or two <laughs> thank you okay yeah so again i see the card number 27 walking away so again you're walking away from certain things or maybe even certain um contracts in the past that you had maybe some of you guys are walking away from old jobs or old opportunities that are no longer serving you towards your future and what it is that you truly want. And then card number 11, again with this happiness, the cornucopia card. I feel like you're walking away from the past or certain things that you were maybe like invested in or tied to or had contracts with that weren't serving you. You're walking away from that and walking towards your happiness and what it is that's going to make you feel more abundant moving forward. And then under that is the angel of balance so balancing yourself out as well it's going to be very helpful maybe that's something you can focus on um when you're nurturing yourself thank you god for those beautiful clarifications can you please give me um clarif <laughs> i didn't even say it 
clarification for the focus card. Thank you, God. Again, blossoming abundance. I don't know. You guys just keep getting all these good cards. My goodness. <laughs> blossoming abundance. Man holding a coin. So with this abundance, it's like money's coming in. So maybe some of you guys are also focused on your money. You're focused on what dreams, goals, aspirations, what it is that you're working towards. Um, you're focused on your happiness of the future and what that looks like for you. And then under that, oh, I love this card. The fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael, which is your heart chakra. I'm going to read a little bit up on that one for you guys as well. Just give you guys some information. And under that is like all tied up, um, card number 23. So maybe you guys are feeling like all tied up with certain things. But you want to focus more on love, abundance, and also making some money. Hey, right, that's pretty good for the new year. <laughs> The fourth chakra, the heart chakra. Mm. All right. The key issues are passion, tenderness, inner child issues, and rejection. The inner aspect is unconditional love and compassion. The physical action is circulation. The mental action is passion. And the spiritual action is devotion. So with the unconditional love and compassion, maybe, um, with a nurturing card, it's not only about self-love, for some of you you also want to love someone else or you want someone to love you as well and i feel like if you open up your heart you will be able um to get that okay thank you god so very much for all these messages that have come through um please do give me a clarification for this rebirth thank you we have two beautiful cards for you guys oh the first chakra archangel michael yay love it and card number 17, action. Action came back out. <laughs> and under that is the third chakra, Archangel Chemiel. I'll take him up and put them there as well. And under that is appreciation. So feeling appreciated um, once you go through this rebirth and this transformation in your life. With the first chakra, that used to be the crown chakra. And the key issues are inner wisdom and death of the body. So again... Um, this is not like a physical death. This is more so like transforming, changing, rebirth, shape-shifting. Um, maybe some of you guys are changing the way your body looks at this time as well. Um, and inner wisdom being another key issue. So maybe some of you guys really need to start focusing more so on that inner voice as well. As well as your inner work. The inner aspect is the release of karma. So again, walking away from like negative attachment to karma things like that of the past and moving towards your future the physical action is meditation so that's going to be very helpful to help ground you guys as well the mental action is consciousness so really i'm hearing opening your mind the emotional action is being this being yourself and the spiritual action is unity through transcendental consciousness so, um, like an overall consciousness of others as well, but unity with other people, um, is what I'm getting with that one. And then the action card is like, you're moving forward, you're moving towards all of the things that you really are focused on right now for some of you. And also that rebirth for some of you, um, taking the step towards a new journey. And then lastly, um, the third chakra Archangel Chameo is your throat chakra. The key issues are self-expression, communication, and will. So again, um, like I said earlier, one of my pre-channeled messages for you guys was don't be afraid. Um, don't be scared. I'm sorry. Don't be scared. Speak your truth. So some of you, maybe you need to speak your truth about the things that you really truly want to work towards. Um, with those that you love and those that are around you. But definitely opening up your heart and expressing yourself more at this time or this year is going to be very helpful moving forward. The inner aspect is expression. The physical action is communication. Mental action is fluent thought. Emotional action is independence. And spiritual action is security. Absolutely. Very beautiful reading. Very, very beautiful. I'm just going to close out your reading with two very beautiful positive 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 cards. Oh. I'm going to shuffle this a couple times. Oh, I don't know about that. 
And just shovel it again. A couple, a couple more times, actually. <laughs> once more beautiful all right thank you guys so much for this beautiful reading for the air signs please give me two last cards for them oh well you guys got four <laughs> jealous it's like no you guys got four beautiful cards send out your reading Oops. all right um <laughs> So the first one, when I focus on my inner light, I see the world through the lens of love. So again, doing that inner work, focusing on yourself and love with this beautiful heart chakra. I'm the dreamer of my dream. Going after your dreams again. <laughs> oh, I love this one. Thank you, universe, for helping me see beyond the limits of fear. Thank you for expanding my perceptions. So that, that I can see what is of the highest good. So again, with that, um, like that overall consciousness of other people in the community as well. And the last card for you guys. The moment I embrace my peace within and surrender the outcome is the moment that the universe can truly get to work. So maybe for some of you, um, you have like a certain set like outcome of what you expect to happen when you follow your dreams. Um, but you know, life doesn't really always work that way. So maybe I feel like some of you guys can take like a note out of like the water signs and kind of like going with the flow of the water of, you know, the world or your life, just going with the flow of things and not trying to control it. Maybe some of you guys have like a control issue with certain things to an extent. Um, but definitely, you know, learning to surrender how things might be. But definitely just living more so in the moment. Living in the moment is what I heard. Living in the moment and just moving forward with gratitude. And knowing that things will work out because you believe in those things. And you're just following your path. Alright, so that has been your reading for you beautiful air signs. Um, please do check out my website if you guys would like to set a personal um, reading with me. Also, you can check out any of the other videos that I do have on YouTube as well for more insights and information for you guys. Alright, thank you guys.